Tom, what, what, what can you say to a guy like Dave who's gone through everything that he's been through and now is going through it again? Yeah, you, your heart goes out to him. You know, he put in so much hard work to get and try and get back. Um, you just feel for him for all the things he's been through. How do you like how Rashid's played? He's been uh, good. There's some bad in there too. Um, some things we got to correct. I think with him, just focusing on being fundamentally sound is uh, his biggest issue. But I love how he competes. I love how he comes off the ball. Uh, there's a lot of good in what he's doing. So I think we just got to keep working with him and uh, hone up those details. Does he have the skill set for that position? And I only ask it because most of the starters in the league are first round picks and obviously yeah. he is not. So somehow. No, he definitely, he happens. definitely does. Um, he's very athletic. He plays well in space. Uh, he's aggressive, uh, good in the run game. So I think, I think he's got a chance to be a solid player there for sure. Is, um, is moving Tom to left guard on the table still? Everything's on the table. Um, you know, every week we're going to evaluate what is best for our offense. And, you know, you got, we got a few guys that are pretty versatile, so we have the luxury to do, you know, look at all those options. The offense has been really efficient in the red zone. What goes into being effective in that part of the field? Well, a lot of it, um, it starts, you know, just with making sure, well, running the ball. That's always the number one thing in the red zone that you want to try and do. Um, but I think we, we've had some pretty good plans, been able to attack defenses. Um, and then our guys just having the right mentality. You get the ball, you get vertical, and you go score. Um, and that's the biggest thing. And um, there have been some things, you know, we got to clean up down there, but uh, that's been a pretty good spot for us so far. How do you get started faster? <laughs> Great question. Uh, we need to be more efficient. You look at kind of how we, the last few games, the last two games, the Saints and the uh, Lions here, there's just been too many second and longs and too many negative plays. Um, so when that that's the biggest issue with our offense right now, whether that was penalties with the New Orleans game or just negative plays, uh, taking losses on first down. It's really hard to bounce back from those consistently. So that's, that's our biggest issue is just making sure we're better on those early downs. Do you guys still script the um, first 15 or, or does that not happen anymore? Yeah, you always have a plan Yep, where you, you know, have the plays you want to start off the game. Um, so, yeah. And are there too many instances when you're running into a strength of a defense, for instance, you know, like Aaron needs to be able to get you out of uh, plays where you might be running into a strength of a defense? I mean, do you have to adjust more than? I, I think it's more of just getting the more runs called. And like I just said, you know, when you're second and long, it's really hard to get the run game going when you're, you're, you got to, throw the ball more. Um, you know, we got down in both games as well. So it's just a matter of us just being more efficient at the beginning uh, to get the run game going. Will uh, Jones and Watson be on a pitch count again this week? I'm not sure. That's something kind of we'll evaluate as we go along during the week. I hope not. How much does that change things like last week when you find out you do get them back and they're on a pitch count? Like yeah, that's always an issue. Um, it's something you always have to be aware of as far as how, especially for Matt, how he's calling the game. Uh, you got to make sure you're very specific when those guys are in to try and get them the ball. So you're playing so many young guys, especially at some of the skill positions. How much does that limit what you can do, and how do you think they've handled what you have given them? I think they've done a good job. You know, the one thing, it's not going to be perfect, um, but it's not an excuse. The youth isn't an excuse. We as coaches have to put the right, you know, plan out there for them to execute and then make sure they, they can go do that. So that's never an excuse. Um, but I think they've done a great job. The one thing I love about this group is how they compete. 
They really compete. They play hard. They love football. So I think, you know, and we've seen that in the second half of these last two games. These guys will never quit, and I think that's going to pay off in the long run. One thing Matt said after the game was, um, quote, we knew they were going to load the box, talking about Detroit's defense. Um, do you have to run the ball anyway, or do you just have to throw the ball because that's what the numbers dictate? Well, I guess what's that give and take there? Yeah, you have to be able to do both. But, you know, anytime a defense is loading something, you do have to be able to take advantage of that. Um, so if you think you're going to consistently run the ball versus a loaded box in the NFL, you know, you either just have to have that much better players. Um, so I think we, we just need to do a better job collectively. So if they're daring you to throw the ball by loading the box, how do you get the run game going? How do you get the run opportunities up when they're just not going to watch you do it? Yeah, you make them pay then, throwing the ball. That's basically it. you got to back them off. You know, when they're getting uh, a rush with four guys, uh, consistently with four mm -hmm. guys, yeah. how, do you, how do you counter that? I mean, is there anything you can do yeah, schematically? Um, you can. I think the biggest thing is just making sure you're you're trying to avoid the one-on-one -on -one matchups that you don't like, uh, whether it's their best rusher against one of your lesser offensive linemen. So you got to do what you can to protect from that. But it just comes down to our guys playing, executing, and winning their matchups. The offensive line knows what they need to do better, um, and I believe in them, and I think they will. Is there, is there any kind of a, a... I don't know if strategy is the right word, but when you max protect, you know, is there a certain continuity you still have to have? Because there seems like there were times when even when you max protected, there were they got some pressure. In yeah, there. they did a good job inside. That's the hardest, you know, when you're you're max protecting. You can protect the edges with chips and things like that. But if we're not being stout in the middle uh, and you get that push up the middle, that's going to be really hard to uh, combat against.